Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and this is the famous 10-year-old laptop in which I have installed Windows 11. So, of course, it is a unsupported hardware, and uh, you know what? It uh, is surprisingly fast, works surprisingly well. Just look at the speed at which the menus appear when I change things around. Uh, I mean, it's it's very, very surprising. Um, I got to say that I am uh, amazed at how well this goes. And, of course, uh, you could see the minimum if we go to the task manager here. And what takes a long time, actually, is the loading when it needs to actually access disk because this computer actually has a... Um, you know, magnetic hard drive, old magnetic hard drive. It's not an SSD. And actually what slows it down is really the disk access. Every time I need disk access or I need something that actually is intense on using the disk, this is, this is what makes the computer slow. Because remove that and um, just, you know, standard usage, it actually works great. And uh, I'm doing a screen recording here works great as you see uh, has just a minimum in the task manager it doesn't show my GPU as a separate GPU uh, this computer has a dedicated Radeon card which had its own one gigabyte RAM so uh, technically a little faster than integrated graphics that that share memory but uh, works great and uh, here it has eight gigabytes DDR3 and even with eight gigabytes uh, I mean it works uh, Pretty well, pretty well, and um, pretty uh, surprising how uh, all of this goes. And, of course, Microsoft Edge, immediate. Look at that, how fast that is, too. I mean, it's, um, I tell you, you know, when you talk about the minimum requirements, people might think, well, you know, maybe it's because it's too heavy or this thing is not. It actually runs better than probably, I, I think it even runs better than Windows 7 ever ran in this thing, or Windows 8 at least. Uh, pretty surprising, I have to say. So this gives you an idea that on unsupported hardware, this uh, Windows 11 works, and it could work very well. Um, it really an arbitrary um, minimum requirement that uh, leaves behind many machines that could do. I even have that kind of faint arrow glass effect where you see the transparencies in the back. I, mean, I didn't even think that would appear because I didn't even think the graphics adapter would actually you know let this work but uh, it actually does so uh, <laughs> this is I have to say very surprising and uh, like I said what's slow is every time there's a disk access for something this is where the computer goes slower uh, because on just you know on its own works really really well so uh, this is of course Windows um, 11 22h2 that was uh, installed on this so this is really the latest build that you have with the latest updates and security and everything so uh, 22621 here uh, build 22h2 and so uh, uh, works well the install went well um, if you have a PC lying around this this PC is 10 year old I mean this is an old um, this is a really a core i5, third generation, really, really far. You know, we're talking about they want to have eighth generation or later. This is a third generation core i5. I mean, it's far behind. Still works. Still works great. So if you have an old uh, PC lying around, um, you know what? Uh, why not uh, take the test and, and install Windows 11 on that machine? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. And thank you for watching our videos. And if you have any questions on the install and how, the, uh, how it works with the uh, good old laptop, just let me know.